morning guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video today we're going to be doing the facelift conversion on john's van we've got all the parts in the back we're going to be painting the grill completely stripping off the front end bonnet headlights grill bumper etc and then behind that we've got the slam panel radiators there's a few little modifications to do there's some wiring to do changing the plugs on the lights but we are just going to crack on and try and get that nipped in the bud today if we can so let's stop going on about it and get on and try and do it Sorry, the sun's really, really bright today, so there may be some elements of it shining in the camera. I can only apologise now for that. It is absolutely beautiful out here today. I didn't want to keep cutting in and out and basically explaining what we was doing. I think it was all quite self-explanatory, and I thought, you know what? Let's strip the whole front end off, and then we'll cut in and let you know how we're getting on with it. So I've just cracked on around this side and then moved on to the headlight, the wing, the bumper. And we sort of worked in a rhythm there and it all come together. And it was pretty quick, to be honest. This took a couple of hours and it is all completely stripped off now. So I won't, again, I won't get into too much depth on what is entailed, but a couple of people did reach out saying, would it be hard for me to do? And this is the first one of these that I've actually done. So. I, I didn't actually know, but we've got one 10 mil nut down the back here. You've got one bolt behind the molding here. You've got one inside where you, when you open the door, you pop this cover off, you've got two bolts there. You've got one bolt down here at the bottom, and then you've got three in the wing, and that's the wing off. The headlights, again, all self-explanatory. They just have the bolts in the front panel. So these, the headlight mounts will be on here like that will be one there and that's the other one up there and that's the other one there so again it is all quite self-explanatory and looking at that front panel and then looking at the new one they really don't look a lot different at all but only these infill holes all look different you know obviously these are a different shape and there is going to be a different variations of shapes on there again we've not done it before so we've decided to leave the radiators in there and try and work around them Again, that might change. We don't know at the moment. The reinforcing bar for the bumper is absolutely identical. So we're not gonna be changing that. The back wheel arch liners do have to come out to get to the 10 mil bolt down the bottom and the bolts underneath here. So it is quite straightforward. The bonnet hinges are the same. So we'll be obviously cracking on and starting the process of putting it back together now and you'll get to see all of that as well. If you do have any questions or you think that you might get stuck with it, you can always reach out to me and I'll be quite happy to help. As you would have seen there on the time lapse, I was just prepping this grill. It is temporary. I've said that from the start. You know, it's not the van's getting wrapped, and he said when he comes to sell it at a later date, you know, in, in the next few years, what he will do 
is um, have all the paintwork done on the van anyway because there is a couple of marks on those uh, wings that he's got and the bonnet etc so literally I've just scotched it off just going over it with a bit of panel wipe and we stopped the other day and got that can of 2k from um, Kemp Paints so I've scotched it off the best I can and we haven't actually got any decent primer here we've only got uh, world through primer so I'm just going to attempt to go over it the best I can if it comes out okay then it will be good enough for what John wants you know this is just a race van I want to try and get it as nice as I possibly can for him but at the same time you know we didn't allow to paint the grill so that 2k out of those cans is really really good so this should come out quite nice so I'm just doing it with a bit of panel wipe and to uh, stop contamination you use one cloth to put it on and one paper to obviously one paper towel to put it on and one to take it off that way you're not just rubbing around putting it in I watched a couple of the people that do it sort of amateur like we do you know we're not a, a full-on body shop and they get that one wipe and they go around and wipe it over and they just wait for it to dry but I kind of think that's defeating the object a little bit that does just spread it all about so wipe it off on with one and wipe it off with another so that is that 2k from Kemp Paints and it's the Mercedes Sprinter and if you remember when I've done the video on it take the bottom of the can off put that rim pull through key ring, rim pull, whatever you'd like to call it and then we pull and that's now activated that can so we give it a good shake that mixes the hardener in with it I've given it a good shake but we now have got to get as much of that hardener in there as we can so I'll probably just give it a couple of dust coats first really really hit it the fans a bit wide on that but I'm sure we can manage such good stuff this 2k you can see it's covering up that red like it's covering up primer which is absolutely brilliant and it's going to save us a whole heap of work later on so I do want to try and cover as much of it as I can and obviously I'm going to do the inside as well because that has got elements of red on it and it is never nice quite a lot of you did say why don't you leave that red grill on there and it's to be honest it's a bit boy racer-ish and John said Rob I don't want a red grill I want the grill white the same colour as the rest of the van so I think that pretty much shows just through what I've done there how good those 2Ks are. Guys, I know I haven't got a mask on today, and I know a lot of you do worry, but we have got all the doors open, it's very well ventilated, so we should be okay. I know that's no excuse, and it is literally, I can see it, so I should be putting it on, but there is no excuse for it. And that's all the inside done as well so I'm gonna let that go off now and then I'm gonna hit it but I must stress about that paint sorry I've just noticed a little bit it is absolutely fantastic look how well that covered that with one coat and that's white over the top of red so pretty impressive stuff sorry let's tidy up after I uh, stop it that is it and believe me that was quite straightforward and we really enjoyed doing it the grill has come out absolutely incredible I'm just trying to get an angle so that you can see how smooth and shiny that has come out it literally looks almost factory finish so that was brilliant really to do that out of a, a Ratley can so we are just leaving that out here to bake off 
for a, another half an hour on the sun because we don't want to put our fingers on it and it still be a little bit too soft. So it is um, dry to the touch, but we do just want to make it go off a bit harder before obviously we push it in round there. But yeah, let us know what you think. It was pretty simple to do. Chris probably did the hard part there with all the soldering, but he made easy work of it and it was quite quick. I know it looks like that, that that's high there, but it's not, it's completely smooth. It's the angle of the camera. And as you can see, that gap is uniform all the way up. This side, however, we did have a little bit of trouble. And if you remember when we picked this wing up, I was going on about, it was quite bad. It's got damage here. I reckon it come off of a salvage vehicle that had been hit in the front and that maybe the bonnet had come across and scraped that. So we got that damage there. And then Chris said here, this is actually bent round because the gap's all nice all the way down. And then when you get here, it just tightens up there. And when you pull it out, it does open it up, but that's actually kinked round. And I'm gonna say to John, rather than try to get that wing repaired, because that's obviously out of shape there, I think the good idea would be to look up for another second hand one because they are all the same colour and it literally is 10 minutes work to take that off and swap it over. But I am going to cut back in as soon as we put that grill on and let you see exactly what it come out like. So that is it, completely finished. And I think you would agree, it looks so much better. Sorry, the uh, camera angle's a bit funny because I've turned it straight round to face me because it's a bit awkward to spin it round. I've put the clips in the grill, one up here and one up here, and just laid it in there. I haven't actually pushed it home because I don't want to put any fingerprints on it. It is still soft. So that is going to be the end of today's video, and that is going to be the end of the rebuild, not the rebuild, sorry, the facelift conversion on the Sprinter van. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We upload videos like this all the time. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon in the next one.